Hey, hey, YouTubers, it's your girl, Lexi, and I finally did it. This video today is basically about how I finally microlocked my own hair. I just did it Saturday and Sunday of this weekend. I'm so excited because I just, first of all, I can't even believe I did it. Second of all, my hair is very, very fine. Um, I'm right now I probably don't look so fine, but as y'all can see, my curl pattern for me is everything. I really like it. It's like super cute. My hair is fine, but top of the line. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we got a little body 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 So yeah, I'm real happy. I guess you guys probably want to see my little top down chrome spinning and it really just shakes look at that ladies and gents i mean anybody who's watching i really don't care but look at that like it's you know it's got like a whole vibe it's not like really i guess i gotta i didn't put no mousse on it this morning on the front and i did do like the grid pattern and everything so that's probably why it's still like kind of tight so I can have a, like a part down the whole middle and do like two little ponytails or whatever like that. Um, one side is a little bit fuller than the other side because I did one side and one side. Maybe I could try to leave this little piece down. I'm trying to like, you know, get to see what all kind of little hairdos and stuff I could do with them. This is so cute. I mean, the curls is everything for me. That really does help me to bring, see them little tiny curls? They look so cute. I didn't put no mousse on this, so I think maybe putting a little bit of mousse on that will give it a look. I just been really just throwing the front in these little ponies. And with the rest, since I'm using rubber bands, I only do it one time. I don't like do the whole thing but it looks so cute like i really love it so i'm just gonna go ahead and like put a little bit of um mousse on this front part to give it the look you know the curly look but yes i don't know it didn't actually take that long because my hair is pretty fine let me just give y'all a close-up of my little edge this is actually the side that's a little bit more thin. You know, I didn't do as many, I guess, on this side. Or maybe, I don't know if I don't have the same amount, like, the as much hair on this side or what. But as you can see, like, I did the back. I did everything myself. I don't know if y'all can see that. All of the little, you know, my little parts and stuff in there. I got my little grid pattern going on. So, this is like everything for me. Let me get this side up. Because this is a little, I like the two ponytail look. That's cute for me. I like that. So, I've just been like taking my little rubber bands and throwing them up. Okay, yeah, it doesn't even look like it's that much fuller on one side versus the other. I really, really love them though. So, this is my beginning of my lock journey. This is really cute. I've just been like, you know, playing with them and see how I got them done in the front. My hair is really fine. If you guys can see how it is, it's really fine. You see how like fine is and thin are two different things. Fine is like the strand of my hair is just thin like you know it's missing one of the layers I heard another girl on here say that and I'll you know try to figure out what video that was I watched but she had a great explanation of it but in any event this is my lock journey this is how they the micro look locks look on fine hair um I don't know what texture my hair is or anything like that maybe somebody could comment and let me know what kind of texture my hair is because I just did it and then once I put the mousse on it it just went up curled up like that on its own I didn't like put no 
rulers or nothing like that in it. It just, that's the way I guess is my natural curl pattern. So it just did that on its own. And yep, I think I'm gonna put some just cause I want this to hang like that. that, that, that. So yeah, I didn't really do anything special to them. It did take about, I wanna say it took me like six hours per side. I did this side first. And then the next day, I like went to bed on it. And then I just went ahead and the next day, I finished this one in about six hours. Um, so it took all in all about 12 hours total to get my hair all twisted and everything. And I'm really pleased. I did interlock it because of the way my hair is. I know that like, like see these little teeny ones in the back, like if I don't, if I didn't interlock it, my hair would have just came out because of the, it's like soft too. So I knew that if I didn't do like an interlock or something like that, that it'll just all like come out. So I did interlock it and last night I actually oiled it and, um, you know, put my scarf on it. I did read, I did a lot of research I've been doing on it and I did read that they should be scarfed or bonneted at night just to keep it from like rubbing or anything like that. You don't want to rub them out. This is so cute. I really love it. Um, you know, so that was one of the things that I wanted to do. Matter of fact, let me get this mousse so y'all can see. Let me get this mousse. Let me get this mousse. So now with the mousse, we're just gonna, this is the mousse that I like to use. And I can also show y'all the tools that I use, which was basic. This is the mousse that I love, Vigorol, which is an old brand. And it's the Olive Oil Mega Moist Mousse. That's what I like to use. Even before I locked my hair, this was like the mousse that I like to use, period, point blank. Since I didn't put no mousse on these parts this morning, because these actually don't even be curling up that good. This part in the front, I don't know why. Maybe not yet, you know, since I guess this is the part that I most normally manipulate on my hair. It likes to even takes a minute for it to get, you know. Okay, see, it's trying to curl up, but they don't curl up as good as the rest of it. It's more of a, like a loose kind of curl because I guess I was manipulating this part the most, like kind of blending it in with stuff and I don't know because I usually wear my hair in crochets or braids or something like that so I'm unsure as to why this part of my hair does not curl up that good so let me just put some more on there I always think that being as though it don't curl up that good I always be like oh let me just put some more on there and maybe it'll curl up good because I want it to curl up good but it's really cute. I'm really happy with it. I just can't wait to see what the like the look is gonna be, you know, for me. Once I get to wearing it. Now this side done really got a little, I done got it soaking wet. So and it kind of looks just like a wavy or something. It don't look as curly as the rest of it. The rest of it just like really does curl right up. And I'm actually kind of happy that this part ain't, you know, didn't do all that. Because then I can, you know, it could be longer in the front where I need it to be a little bit longer at. And then my little ponytails is like that. Because this is actually really, really cute. I love this. And this is how I was wearing my hair sometimes anyway before I put these in. So, you know, it gives me a little bit of length in the front. It got me looking like, you know, okay. So yes, y'all, I done did my little micro locks. Ain't they cute? Ain't they cute? Yeah. And this is on fine, soft. I don't know if it's like a, I don't know that 4B and all that kind of stuff. I don't know nothing about that. All I know is, is that the hair is soft and, ooh, did I get something tangled up? What's up? Oh my God. So, the hair is soft and it's um fine. So that's what I'm going off of, of how my hair texture actually is. 
And that's like, you know, how it curled though. Let me just give y'all a look. See them curls? I like them girls. <laughs> so, yeah, I like them. Look at that. I like that. Oh, I wish the front would curl up like that, but it's fine that it don't. But um, in any event, it really didn't take that long. I guess because of, you know, my hair being so fine, it didn't take like 24 hours and all that because I don't got that. I got a lot of hair, but it's not um that, you know, that um it's fine. So my tendrils, my actual strands of hair are what's fine. That's what determines fine or thin because my hair is not thin. Obviously, you can't see like any like balding or anything. That would define thin hair is if you're like thinning at the scalp and like different areas of your hair was thinning. But I don't have that. My hair is just fine. It's like a, a, the strands of my hair are, are just um, quote unquote thinner than someone's whose hair would be considered as thick. So... Like, comment, and subscribe to my brand new channel. I'm just getting on. I'm going to actually have everyone, you know, just who wants to come along with me and watch this journey, my lock journey. I'm so excited. Ah. So tomorrow's video, because my channel is all about fashion, hair, of course, my locks now, because I'm just so excited about my little locks. They look so cute. I just love them. So, um, my channel is going to be about, you know, my lock journey. I'm so into fashion. I know I'm just looking like anything right now. Today was just not the day, but tomorrow I actually have to go to work and in the office. So when I have to go to work in the office, that's when I turn up because, you know, I just like the address and all that kind of stuff. So tomorrow's video is going to be my five minute, um, makeup routine because I do my makeup like very very quickly it's not a you know long drawn out process or anything like that I have four kids I don't have no time to be playing in no makeup okay I like to wear it I love the look that it gives me my little locks is cute honey I don't even know how to act but anyway friends I will check on y'all tomorrow so you can see my five minute routine. And then I will give y'all some, see this hoodie right here? I ain't dressed this one up. See, I like to dress hoodies. <laughs> I like to dress my hoodies up. Today is dress down day. I'm working from home. I got to get the kids and do different things, dinner and all that kind of stuff. So tonight, no, ain't going to be no makeup. I don't do all of that when I'm not going to work. So it's just, this is it. So this was just a quick introduction to introduce everyone to my channel and just show you guys my locks. I'm so excited. Look at my lock journey. I just can't even believe I've done these myself. Yes. I mean, I am. I've been doing my hair for over 20 years, but I just never have done locks before. I just didn't know how they was going to turn out and they turned out really, really cute and gorgeous. So, quick introduction. Welcome to Living the Lexi Life. Uh, living life with Lexi. And I will talk to you honeys tomorrow when I go to dial up and put this makeup on. Five minutes is all I got for makeup. So, I will show you guys my five minute routine tomorrow and get to it. All right. If you like this video, if you want to know anything about my process and how I did my locks, please comment below and I'll be more than happy to make another video and answer all of those questions, honeys.